Hi, this is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. In this video, I'm going to show you how to create a custom shape in Adobe Photoshop. To start off with, let's go ahead and create a new file. I'm going to use the dimensions of 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels, resolution set to 300 pixels per inch, color mode is RGB color, background content set to transparent, and then I'm going to go ahead and click on create. From here, I'm going to go ahead and add some grid lines. So I'm going to go to view, new guide layout, and then I'm just going to have columns set to two, rows set to two, and then just click on OK. That way we can see our center point on our canvas. And next, I'm going to access the ellipse shape tool. So I'm going to right click here, accessing the ellipse tool here, and I'm going to just draw out a, um, a flower petal here using the move tool V on the keyboard, just bringing it here. And then I'm just gonna align it to the canvas. Maybe I'll make it a little bit smaller here and then just align it there. I'm gonna go ahead and click the check here to okay that change. Uh, the next step is I'm going to uh, repeat this around the circle. To do that, let's go ahead and duplicate this layer, Command or Control J. And then I'm going to uh, use the transform tool, Command or Control T. And then with that, I'm just going to bring this icon here. I'm just going to start moving it. And then I'm going to actually enter the values here. Uh, the size of my canvas is 1200 pixels by 1200 pixels. So I'm just going to do half of that. So we have 600 uh, by 600 here. And then that will just move it to the center there. And then I'm going to rotate this. Let's do a value of 36 degrees and we can see it rotating here and then you can just click on OK there. And then to uh, continue, you just continue that step, you would duplicate it, uh, change the access point and rotate it around the circle. I have created uh, some actions to do this uh, that makes it quicker. So I'm going to go ahead and delete that duplicate here, making sure my layer is uh, selected here. I'm going to use uh, one of my actions here. It's called rotate repeat 10. And then it does um, exactly what we were doing, uh, but with an action it just, and I will leave a link to where you can uh, purchase these actions in the description below. Uh, with this action, we have our original circle here, and then we have a group uh, with all of the repeats here that you could easily delete if you needed to. I'm just gonna go ahead and click on all of these layers here, and then I'm gonna combine them into one shape. So I'm just gonna right click, scrolling down, and just click to merge shapes here. Let's go ahead and take it out of that group, and then I can just delete this group here. I'm gonna go ahead and create a new layer here, and then just using the ellipse tool here, I'm gonna draw out a circle. So I'm hitting shift click, to uh, draw out my circle and then I'm going to hit the shift key to uh, be able to move it so that way I can see how big I want it and then um, I'll just go ahead and select that there so I have my uh, circle and then I have uh, my flower petals here so I'm going to highlight both of these layers here I'm going to go to layer combine shapes and then I'm going to use subtract front shape that way we can cut out that circle and then what we're seeing here is just that original uh, one I had before. So I'm going to go ahead and uh, turn off that layer there. So we have our new shape here, which I can turn into a custom shape. So I'm going to go V for the move tool and, and then just select out of it. So here we have our flower shape. And I'm going to bring up the pass panel. If you do not see the pass panel, you're going to go to window and select pass here. I'm going to go ahead and click on that shape layer here. And what you'll notice is there is a path for that shape. With that path selected here, I'm going to click on the pen tool. So P for the pen tool. And that will just allow me to right click. And here in the menu, you see Divine Custom Shape. So I'm going to select that there. And then here you can uh, give your shape a name. I'm just going to name it Flower and then just click on OK here. And let's go ahead and bring up our Shapes panel. So we can go to Window and select Shapes here. And here we'll notice our newly created shape here. So if we turn off the visibility of our shape, uh, let's just create a new layer here and then we'll make sure we're on the custom shape tool. We've selected our shape and then you can just drag out and you have uh, this custom shape that you can use 
Uh, when it's saved as a shape, it has uh, some vector properties um, in that you can size it up, size it down without losing um, any quality to the shape. So that's one benefit about creating a custom shape. Uh, let's go ahead and uh, exit that one here. And then we'll just uh, delete this layer here. So let's go ahead and create another custom shape. Uh, this time I'm going to start with the elliptical marquee tool. And then let's just draw out our petal. Maybe we make it a little bit fatter here. And then let's create a new layer. And then let's just fill that with um, our foreground color. To do that, I'm going to go Option Delete for Mac. That would be Alt Backspace for PC. And then we'll just hit uh, Command or Control D to deselect those pixels uh, via on the keyboard. And then I'm just going to uh, position it here. Um, and then again, I'm going to use uh, one of my actions to repeat it around the circle. So let's try rotate and repeat 12 times. I'm going to go ahead and actually delete that. I don't want the petals touching. So we'll just go ahead and delete group, uh, group and contents here. And let's try that again. So let's do rotate, repeat 10 again. Uh, that way uh, the petals aren't touching there. And then let's draw a, another circle here. So I'm going to hit shift click to draw it out. And then the space bar, which will let me move it. Drawing maybe a little bit bigger here. We'll just fill that there. And then adding a layer here, I'm just going to fill that in with the foreground. Option delete for Mac, Alt backspace for PC. Command or Control D to deselect. And then just accessing the Move Tool V here. Uh, let's make sure we're aligned to our canvas there. Uh, so looking at this flower, I'm going to make this circle a little bit bigger here. We'll align it there. And we have a, another flower here. So coming to my group here, I'll just go ahead and select all these layers. Uh, just right click. Uh, to merge layers here and then we'll just bring it outside of the group and then let's go ahead and merge these layers here as well we can go ahead and delete that group and then i'll just turn off this layer here so we have um, our layer here and then let's go ahead and bring up our path panels in this case we don't have a path um, for this flower we created it using the ellipse marquee tool uh, which created pixel layers whereas before we use shapes which have paths automatically so in this case we need to create a working path before we can actually define this as a custom shape so to do that you're going to click on this icon so command or control click to select the pixels here uh, let's go ahead and select the marquee tool, so M on the keyboard. And then that will allow us to uh, right click and bring up this menu here. And then you'll want to make sure you select Make Work Path. And then just setting the tolerance to one pixel, we'll go ahead and click on OK here. And then what we'll notice in our path panel is we have our working path of our new shape here. And then now with that, we can go to the pen tool, P on the keyboard, to right click, we'll, which will allow us to define our custom shape here. And then again, we ha can give it a name. So let's just go flower to clicking on OK. And then if we bring out our shapes panel here again, we can see our newly created shape uh, that we made uh, this time starting out with pixels uh, versus shapes. Thank you for watching this video on how to create a custom shape in Adobe Photoshop. If you like this video, go ahead and give it a thumbs up and leave me a comment below. In this video, I use my uh, custom action set to easily rotate an object around a circle, and I will leave a link in the description below to where you can find that action set. Thank you for watching this video. This is Trisha from Lemon Paper Lab. See you next time.